Have you ever noticed that when you try to make a deal in which everyone benefits, everyone turns into a bunch of wild animals because of your original hidden motives? Well, that's what Lincoln and his sisters found out in the episode I'm going to talk about today. So join me as I, Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. Cue the intro! Today's episode is The Sweet Spot. In this episode, Lincoln devises the plan to make sure he gets the best seat in the car before the family heads out on a road trip. By first season standards, this episode had one of the most interesting first halves of a story. Lincoln explains how there's one seat in the family car that's perfect for anyone who sits in it. He then explains how sitting in other seats can lead to an unpleasant experience. He also indicates, thanks to Clyde, how sitting next to or behind certain sisters can have serious drawbacks as well if not taken into consideration. Simply put, he wanted to avoid avoid any and all drawbacks by any means necessary. In fact, some of the sisters were also aware of what they'd have to put up with if they sat next to a specific family member, so I give credit to both them and Lincoln for trying to negotiate the upcoming seating arrangements the night before the trip. That way, there would be an ideal setup that would not only be a benefit to Lincoln, but also a benefit to the girls so no one would feel like they'd be getting the short end of the stick. The girls all agreed to sit where Lincoln wanted them to sit, and it looked like the plan was going to work out splendidly, but then the girls found out what Lincoln had been plotting, and that's when the story started going south. Not only do I question how the child genius Lisa never thought to implement Lincoln's plan when she directly pointed out the benefits of sitting in the sweet spot, but I was aggravated by how everyone started fighting among themselves in their attempt to claim ownership of that one specific seat. First, they brawl all over the car when it's still dark outside, and then the brawl continues at 7am with everyone rushing towards Vanzilla and creating a fight so huge that the car ends up falling apart. I suppose the only good thing to come out of the ordeal is how the road trip gets cancelled, for obvious reasons. Reasons, and the kids are forced to sit together in the living room so they can learn to get along. It's kind of a ridiculous second half to their punishment given the nature of the series and how there's also a sweet spot on the couch Lincoln wanted to claim before anyone else, but at least they all get some penalty for their insane behavior, so that's something. Overall, there's not a lot of good things I can say about this episode. It had a strong first half with everyone technically working together to ensure they all had a good road trip, but then everything fell apart when Lincoln's plan was discovered and suddenly everyone turned extremely greedy and possessed over one car seat. I mean, you could make the case how Lincoln was the first one to be selfish, if not the most, since he tried to bypass the first come first serve policy, but his sisters were the ones to throw away the seating arrangement they all agreed upon, even though they were going to benefit from it. The final result is everyone going crazy fighting among themselves and Vanzilla getting destroyed. No one really learns their lesson, especially Lincoln right at the end. The screeching from the kids was an assault on my ears, and it's disappointing to say the only amusing thing I found was Lincoln throwing a few muffled tantrums inside the car. In short, this episode could have been a whole lot better, and I know technically the main concept of the series of one boy dealing with the chaos of living with ten girls was heavily reinforced throughout the plot. However, the story overplayed that concept, and the end product is an episode you're more likely to forget, and I wouldn't blame you if you did. With that said, I give The Sweet Spot a 4.8 out of 10. Well folks, that concludes my review of The Sweet Spot. So I gotta ask, what did you guys think of this episode? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to click that subscribe button for more Loud House related content. That's going to do it for me, I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.